So I'm back at home again and you can see we've had quite a lot of improvements since I last shown you guys the base. We've now got this front door up and running so we can go ahead and open and close that. So that way of course we can store our cars and also our houses lovely and safely inside the base. We've still only got these two houses but we do plan on having like houses going all the way around here. And obviously these walls right here aren't level 1 walls. The level 1 walls are half walls which I've shown you guys in the first part. But these are the level 2 walls. And as far as I know, you can level them up to 3 times. And once you've got them on the 3rd level, they are then completely indestructible. So you can see what those kind of walls look like right here. I believe this is the level 3 wall. So you can see if I scroll onto it. I'm not actually sure if I can destroy it, but it says I can. Maybe you can still destroy it, but you can see at least it looks cooler. And it will, of course, defend our base very well. And also this uh, gate is actually level 3 as well. So let's go ahead and close that up. And for now, I'm going to be hopefully showing you guys a few different things in this part. I'm going to be showing the base building briefly. I'm probably not going to get my base up right now because you can see, if you haven't noticed already, we've got a bit of a lack of cars right here. So we don't actually have any um, method of transport which is readily available. So we need a car first. Uh, once we've got that, we will be able to pretty easily start building my very own house and show you all the different stages to build it to the maximum house. So I might do that this part. But we've still got the storage boxes, of course, inside the houses for all of our storage. But I've actually got something readily prepared right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to craft things. And by craft things, I mean show you how to craft the most simple thing ever. So I've actually got a few choices as to what I can craft. I can craft um, this thing right here, the wooden fence corner. Meh. I'm going to actually craft the water well because it's a slightly different building method to how it is in Epoch. And this is actually pretty cool. I mean, we've got a pond here already. But this will, I'd imagine, allow us to actually, you know, have a second source for where we can get our stuff from. And it just looks nice. So let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm just going to put it right here beside this rock. It looks nice. You can press space to actually see um, what it's going to look like when it's down. I can also hear zombies screaming there. That's kind of scary. And then we can preview. We can re uh, rotate it even. And when we actually preview it, it just sits there. And then you can walk around it and see what it looks like. So I can have a look right now and see, you know, does it look good? And if it does look good, I can go ahead and place it. And it will make it permanently there now. At least so I hope. Oh, shit. I just moved and cancelled it. Okay. Maybe not if you do that. But still, I can go ahead and do it again. All right, there we go. Placing it this time. And it looks very beautiful. So this is going to allow us, like I said, to get some water from the water well. Hence the name. There we go. You have constructed a water well. So uh, I'm not sure if you can actually destroy this thing. It doesn't look like you can. Barbad, you know, can you actually get water from a water well? Like, can you get a water bottle and fill it up in the water well? Yeah, I think so. Like, I haven't done it myself, but I'm pretty sure you okay. can do that. Yeah, and am I correct in saying that you can actually get water from this pond right here? Uh, yeah. So, what's the point yeah. of a water well? It's not a real point, is it? Yeah. Uh, you can <laughs> get infected from this pool. Oh, yeah, this is an infected pool. This is a high quality pool. I see, I see. Yeah. High quality water. Oh, you yeah, filling it up? Perfect. Oh, listen to that sound. That was beautiful. So that's a pretty cool improvement to our base, but just last night, two people decided to go ahead and raid our base, so I logged on to hopefully stop them. It didn't quite work as planned. I killed this one guy right here. I thought it was only one. That was what I was called. But it actually turned out it was two of them. So then the second guy inside the house ended up murdering me when I actually locked the house, so he was stuck inside it. And then I had to unlock it, you know, to get him out, otherwise he could just sit in our house row, which probably isn't a very good thing to let people do. It was a bit of an awkward fight too, since I did assume there was only one person, and then I had to lock him in, like I said, and get the ammo from the other body, so that was weird. And I also learned then that Morrison's do 11k damage, which is... That's a lot of damage. Since I had full blood and I died almost from one shot. I think it's actually the Mosin Carbon. The one I've got right now is a Mosin 1891. So there is a few different Mosins you can get. And by a few, I mean two. And most people in this mod right now do have just Mosins. Which is a bit of a shame. You can see I've also got the uh, ammo thing on the back of it. But hopefully that should change as the mod does get a bit more updated. I am actually infected right now. Which probably isn't too good. But we are going to go for an adventure very soon. So that hopefully we can come across a car. And then like I said, once we've got the car. We can finally start doing some lovely base building stuff. There's a guy inside his house, me, and I've got a hatchet. I feel like I'm... I'm from a movie. The Shining. I'm going to smash through the door and say, here's Johnny. I just have to hope he comes through the door. And I should be good. He's got a door barrel. Is he right there? Oh, shit. Where's he gone? Shit, he might have went down the stairs. He's opened up a desk. Spooky. Shit, is he going to come? There he is. He's still just looking around. He's going to come in eventually. Yes, Johnny. <laughs> 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 
I wasn't quite here as Johnny, but we'll go with it. He's got raw human flesh, man. He must have murdered someone for that. The dirty bugger. He's got sledgehammer as well. That's good for Raiden. Ten size out of ten. That was fun. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and confirm the kill. Confirmed. Kill confirmed. This is Call of Duty, guys. Call of fucking duty. This house is really awesome, though. I mean, you can see just how many floors it has. Well, it doesn't have many floors. It's got two floors. But how many places of research inside it. And we're going to be adding more stuff like this into Aftermath. Like, we're going to be redoing the entire northeast. And I've heard it's going to be like a bunker or something. But from what I've heard, it's going to be really cool. But I've got no idea what it's actually going to look like. But I just really like all these custom areas in Aftermath. Like, this is just um, on the northeast edge of Cherno. And I did just commit suicide on my old character because he was infected. And now we've got a car. So I'm going to go get a pickup. I've left all my gear inside one of the cars. And then we're going to go do some stuff. And also, hopefully, I should be able to get my base up and running. But you can see I'm just down here. This, well, that area right down the hill is where I was last part. But anyway, I'm just going to continue over this way and go meet up with those guys. To the football field. There should be one there. They no, in, like in the, the, like, the factory area of Cherno, there's like uh -huh. this, this multiple story apartment thing. Do you know if you can go inside that? There's like this massive tower up there now as well. Huh. I I'm, I'm going to go explore. I, I love the buildings after. They're beautiful. Right. Right, uh, right, we can, uh, we'll just go up to the barns and also show nobody for nails okay. and shit. I'll be there in a second. But yeah, I mean, like the Termination Center as well, I haven't haven't shown that on video yet as well, but it's beautiful. It's yep. beautiful. Do I have so much hemp, we need to stop moving this right now. <laughs> Seems to think this is um, before the zombie apocalypse and the cops are going to catch them. You're going to have as much hemp as you want. I don't think anyone's going to mind, buddy. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this, these uh, apartments might be enterable. Hmm. I seem to be getting pretty good luck today of killing people as well. So you can indeed go inside this apartment complex. Look, look at how cool that is. You might have to blow these doors off. I don't think so. But you can see they are on the floor. So you might have to shoot them off when you first want to get into the apartment system. But then from here, there's quite a lot of places good to snipe from. There might not be anything to loot here. I'm not 100% sure. But you can see you can snipe north if you really want. My guys are just waiting up there. There's some loot right there. If you want to go check out those. I mean, the guy who I killed a second ago was doing exactly that. But these little buildings just, um, you know, add something. And they don't make your FPS terrible either. So... It's really cool. And that's a... Bar is that Barney? I don't know what that even says. Let's go ahead and search for wardrobe. I'll probably get nothing. But you can see I do have very low blood as well because I actually somehow managed to break my legs in a barn. It's a pretty common thing to do, but since I played Daisy for a year and a half, I didn't think I'd be so shitty to do that, but I did it. Anyway, we've got some urban survivor clothing, so let's go ahead and use that. I think it's just like a... Yeah, it's just like a little shitty thing. And you can also rip it up so you can get rags from that and then you can craft the rags into... A makeshift bandage or a limp splint, if you really want, for healing your legs up. Although you do need wood for that as well. It was a long time since I last did my first impression, so just a little reminder, in case you guys didn't see those. But this place is pretty cool, and definitely is a new area. There's also some ladders which go on the roof. Let's check out the roof quickly then. You can have a good look over Sherna from here. I'm not sure how many custom buildings there is in Sherna itself, but of course this tower right here is new. All this stuff is, of course, normal. The stuff on the eastern side is new over there as well. But from what I've heard, I've actually seen someone up north over on Shona beside the barn. So I probably should stop climbing places and go help them out with somewhere over here. So I'm just going to head over there for now and get over to a base. All right. You guys dealt with the guy? Uh, I, I kind of took on the fight and killed one, but the second guy managed to kill me. So What about Rambo? But Rambo got the car away. Yeah. So. Okay. Car. Where are they? Cause I'm kind of uh, do you know you know the barns up north of Cherno? Like if the, you just go the big the big long brown one. Yeah, the, no, the, the big yeah, there's a brown one and a white barn. I think two barns maybe. Just like okay, yeah, just sneak up on them. You're gonna be able, able to kill them. I mean, you could put a sansa on this weapon. That's a cool thing. Get a sansa, PSO scope, cobra, flashlight. <laughs> we just don't have any of that. Yeah, we actually have silencer. We have a PSO. We actually have really? everything. I think everything. Well, I don't it's know not using it. Uh, yeah, because we haven't, like... Uh, there's plenty of silencer, I just don't know if you have the right ones, but I yeah, think we have one for the AK. In fact, yeah, I've got one in my backpack, which I could maybe use. Probably not, though. Next to the barns, yeah, just up the dirt road a little bit. Like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, I see, I see Agro, I'll see, I'll see him. Okay. Yeah. Wait, is it two of them? Yeah, there might oh, be two of them. Sh shooting Could've zombies. Been... Shit, I can't fucking shoot, I'm, I'm too stamina Shit. I see where he is, though. Yeah, there's a stamina system in this mod, so you can see I've got pretty... Low stamina, so I need to wait for that to regain. It's normal now. Okay, good. There he is. This guy is not moving. He surely couldn't have seen me. I guess in theory he could have. Oh, no, he just shot a zombie. He 
He's dead. All right. If you guys want to come up with a car, I think there's only one of them. Otherwise, the guy would have been helping them out for zombies. Yeah, we don't need to turn on now, so we'll leave it in like a few seconds. Okay. One min max. Yeah, I see where their bodies. So it turns out there was actually two people there, but that's okay. We've got the car refueled with some jerry cans we found in Chernobyl. We have all, of course, regrouped, and we can now go ahead and loot the bodies. And we've also actually got an AK with a Cobra set on it now as well, which is something which Nord must have found on one of the people he killed. And Nord was the guy who killed the, the second guy, which we didn't know about, and he just shot him in the head with a very nice shot from what I've heard. Let's go ahead and get all the stuff and get out of here. And I've also actually got a pickaxe now, so I can start finally building my beautiful house. And also a sledgehammer. And holy shit, this guy's got a lot of good stuff in his backpack. A lot of AKM stock, so you can combine those with other stuff. Uh, the AKM body, so you can make the full thing. Or the AKM, um, the front of AKM even. And also a M9 slide, AKM mags, Cobra scopes. There's a lot of new items in this mod. So those Cobra scopes are very good to attach to our um, current AKs we've got. I think other than that, we're good to go. It was actually this Mosin which killed me as well. That's normal. It one shot me. It was very sad. Although I was pretty low blood, so it does make sense. But just need to lose these zombies quickly, and then we can go. Oh, in fact, I think we've lost them already. So we're back at base again. You can see it looks really beautiful. Just driving the car in, opening up the gates. It's like a majestic pony running into the sunset, except it doesn't move because it's a base. And also, I was talking about this before, seeing so these were level 2 and the highest level was level 3, but I think it's level 4, so these aren't indestructible yet. So someone could come over and blow, well not blow them all up, but you can see if you scored, you can de uh, demolish them using the sledgehammer, I think. But I'm not going to test that because I don't want to break my own walls. And it isn't getting dark, it's just because again, uh, stamina. I've got so much stuff in my backpack still, I even found an SVD barrel in the barns up the hill. But I think for now, I'm, I am going to start building my very own base. Wait, is that you cut down a tree, Nord? Uh, no, that's Rambo. That's I'm gonna start mining some rocks. <laughs> okay, while you guys are doing that, is, that, is it okay if I try to smash down your house? I just want to get a general idea as to how, um... how lucky you need to be to break into a house. Yeah, sure, go for it. Why okay, not? so the house has alerted um, you, so Nord will now be getting an email, and I'm attempting to break into a house. This is a long process. I think, okay. how, how long does it take? Uh, not too long. Oh, Actually, yeah, it's not too long. Go. I just got an email on my phone here. Hey, alert. Hey, Aftermath player, you have a new alert. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you can cut, you can log in and then shoot the dirty burger who's knocking in, into your house. But of course, we've got the, the double security. We've got the walls here as well. You have to, you know, I mean, you could... Those fucking trees, man. You could, um, you know, maybe uh, ask me for the, the password of the door nicely and I'll give you it, but I probably won't. Oh, you failed a break in. What a shame. <laughs> and you lose the tools too, if I'm correct. No, I didn't lose it. I'm going to go for it. Number two. I think it's got like a chance of breaking. I know oh, okay. when I um when I tried it earlier off camera, it um it broke when it failed. Yeah, and it didn't break when it failed this time. So yeah, just breaks randomly. But let's even get into your house, Nord. Got to oh, keep in mind. <laughs> What's sorry, Nord? Another alert. <laughs> yeah. What a surprise. But yeah, if I did get into your house, there's actually a lot of good stuff in here. Although I could just ask you for a password very nicely. Well, I'll give it to you if you ask nicely. <laughs> I know a password for that house, it's not this one. But yeah, yeah I was well. in it before. I put some stuff of my own in as well because I had a lot of spare stuff. But you can see Rambo over there demonstrating how to mine rocks. You just go beside a rock and then you just hit it over and over again. Oh, you feel the break in. It's okay. We're going to go for a number three. But yeah, eventually when you're done mining, if Rambo just steps back, you can have up to 50 times hitting the rock. Then it will appear. Oh, Rambo's demonstrating it. It'll appear yeah, on the floor. Yeah. You can see right that and Dan Anderson just talking side chat. Okay. But yeah, you can see it's all just chilling out on the floor right there and then you just pick it up. Of course, it does weigh a lot, so with the weight system, you don't want to carry too many um, stone. And you need to combine that with the wood and with the nails, all inside the workbench, and then kaboom, you can build a house. Your toolbox is now useless. Oh, fuck's sake, I broke my toolbox. <laughs> it's the worst day of my life. You, you, the house is impossible to break into, Nord. Stop cutting down those goddamn trees. <laughs> Sounds like that monster from Lost. The monster from Lost made those noises, right? Uh, well, I guess they did when I destroyed trees, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see what I need anyway for the, the foundations. And obviously, once yeah. you've got the foundations, you then build um, the phases above that from there. Uh, so let's see. Wooden log, 15. Lots of stones, lots of scrap metal, and 10 boxes of nails. Yeah, I've got more than enough to get that. I'm going to help Nord out with some... Some hitting of rocks. So let's go ahead. And you have to remove it from your tool belt, don't you? Uh, yeah, you just use input your uh, be, sh be sure that you have room for your uh, weapon in the backpack, though. So yeah, you yeah, don't want to delete of course. It. And just get it out. You don't just uh, go like this. 
because then it'll bleed, you know, just like it did in Rust. You guys remember Rust? Rest in peace, <laughs> Rust. You actually press the Mind Stone button, and then it'll go like this. And like I said, you can do it up to 50 times. So you never break rock from a map, because if it happened, it wouldn't be good, but yeah. If you're lucky now, we might see Rambo passing out over there, because he's probably carrying a lot of wood. <laughs> what, he's just going to walk from... It's Wait, getting darker. It's getting darker. <laughs> Nord, are you Run? with me, or is that Nord, Rambo right there? Oh, I'm the one uh, cutting the no, cut, cutting the rocks. I'm mining the rocks. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's why I mixed you guys up before I said yeah, I was Rambo doing I it. I, I didn't want to didn't say. Didn't say anything. That's, that's yeah. very nice. <laughs> exactly. I want to be as smooth as possible. You know. <laughs> okay. Oh, you need 250 rocks, I think. So. That's 150, like... unless I misread it. But um. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, the rocks don't actually disappear from a map, but the trees do, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the trees will fall, so... and you can't cut them again. They yeah, we've got asking. some. We've got some trees inside our base, which is pretty convenient, and also some rocks in our base, which is convenient. Yeah, this is like unlimited, like unlimited source too, so this is good. Like, yeah, it's very that, good. That's why, we, that's why we like this occasion. You have plenty of water, you have rocks, you have trees all around you. You know, it's it's just beautiful. It's it is. Beautiful. It's a nice place. I mean, we could get sniped from the hill, but that that hasn't happened yet, except that time at the start of the video when yeah. there was two people raiding a base because Nord fault was only one. No, it was his fault, but yeah. yeah. That's my fault. I I mean I, I kind of fucked up with the not you know looking around me when I opened the door and everything. It was my fault. Yeah, he let me in the house. Oh yes. Rambo's going for a run outside. Um, how, how much scrap do I have enough scrap metal though? Because I've only got two. Oh yeah, we have. We should have enough, and also we can smell the industrial to get more. Oh really? You can do that. Yeah, from an There's end. Ton of what? scrap in the pickup. Oh yeah, like shit. Officer, yeah, officer friendly. He found like a pickup, and there was like twenty four scrap in it. <laughs> so how do you smell down scrap? Um, not scrap. The normal industrial into the scrap. I just want to check this out quickly. Yeah, just for instance, like a fuel tank part or a uh, engine. Go to a uh, light. The, yeah, yeah, just light the fire and okay. you right click the engine and smelt. Easy okay. as that. Yeah, see. I, I don't know what if you have base building guys. So it's a learning process for me too. One second. Um. Oh wait, I don't have. Oh no, I've got engine parts. Let's go ahead and get that and. Kaboom! Smell. And how many will I get from that? Does it vary, uh, or is it always one? Four from an engine. Really? Two, yeah, three or two from a from a fuel tank part. And oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, I think it's about that. Four okay. from an engine at least. Cool. I like base bit. <sighs> Words are really hard. <laughs> I like base building in. Uh, I like base building in this. Maybe a bit more of an epoch. It feels more. Um, they actually building a base yeah, out of real materials, but you know. Base building in Epoch is still, of course, superior because you can build um, more flexible houses. All we've got is these walls, these houses, but at least the houses are indestructible and the walls will eventually be indestructible too as well. It's like a combination of Origins and uh, Epoch. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh. I'm not saying that like you can't say it. I mean, it's a fact. You're right. That's just how it is. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're, not, you're not banished from using those words. It's okay. Um, Please, don't kill me. So how many rocks do we actually need again? Uh, build. Uh, 115 was it? 150? Yeah, 150. 15 logs. So we've got sawn planks. Do we need sawn planks right now? Uh, no, we actually need wooden logs. We don't need the sawn planks. And just for the record, making the foundation it was it's what like you uh, that costs the most. Like you need so many nails, you need so much of everything. But the next stages are like you don't pretty much don't okay. need anything. So <laughs> have you ever used uh, your secondary well mining? Uh, yeah, it looks really funny. If you're <laughs> first to, uh, just swing your pistol at the rock with the head, the pickaxe coming after. <laughs> Boom! Just gonna shoot the rock. No, I'm still the kinda, And also, every time you're mining and shit, always like yeah, look up towards our uh, uh, player alarm. Oh yeah, the player alarm. Uh, yeah, you guys probably didn't hear it in the video, but the player alarm for our base, um, or your base really, it's not really mine until I've got a house maybe. Um, but it's that that uh, DSN right there. If there's Zombies of a deer stand means there's pretty much someone on that hill, and that is the main hill which people are going to snipe us from. And also over here, there's uh, some spawns for zombies because of those houses as well. So it's in a pretty good location. You've got your water, you've got your stones, you've got your wood, you've got your um, your well, which I made earlier. You've got everything. You've got pretty much everything you need. I mean, are you guys eventually going to make maybe a garage? Because obviously you uh, can't make a garage right now, but you could make one out of walls. Yeah, I was thinking of making like some kind of a like in the side, and there's not really a side in a circle, but yeah, we're not one of the so-called corners of this place. Uh, oh. just make some extra walls and uh, okay, <laughs> and uh, put some cars in there, to make it a bit harder to get into. Also, from what I've heard, the house upgrade is really cool. You can put the storage boxes down, level those up. You've got a fireplace you can put inside the house. So I guess I'll try it that once I've got my house up and running. Lord, can you guide me? I can see. <laughs> to go right, right. Okay, stop, stop, stop. A little bit, so I can see where we are. Okay, move a bit to the right. Just go, just go right. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah, it gets so dark. Yeah, uh, right. My screen is black. 
Yeah, go right. <laughs> You're right. You go more, just don't. Oh, oh, you just too far. You too so, far. You have to turn around. Are you don't hit. Oh, he just passed out. Yeah, of, that's oh. why you don't carry around like a million. Ro uh, no, whatever no, no, the hell you're carrying. Wooden we logs, man. We, we can help him just take some hours back, back in the. But then we're gonna pass out by the time we get over there. Look how far away it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've already got enough anyway. Yeah, well, you know, we we can actually we don't need an exact number in it, so we can like yeah, we can just, we can just as much as we want. Yeah. Am I close? Uh, you are going the wrong way. You have to turn around and crawl. Right, I'm gonna build yeah, it now. Are you guys ready? Crawl. Where do you want me to build the house? Uh, try to like a bit like oh. close to the wall where I'm where, where I am okay. right now. Okay, I need a toolbox. You guys have a toolbox. Uh, yeah, I'll put mine in backpack. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's what you get for breaking into my yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> it was for experiments. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we should so be able to build you, it now. You might have to take your pickaxe to your toolbox. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. go ahead. Add that to my tool belt. So what was missing? And as if by magic. You can build this. Let's go ahead and start building it. And as usual, we can press space for the beautiful camera. It's really good for positioning. And then, of course, you can preview it and make sure it actually looks good. So you see up in the right corner if you can place it or not. Or something like left corner, right where? corner. And if you just look up on the corner of the screen, it will tell you if you can place it or not. It's like you can place it. Oh, yeah, you, you, it's not flat it. enough. Okay. I didn't know yeah. you needed it to be flat. It's a bit strange. It's like you might have to uh, kind of look around for a while. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, can, I, can, I, can I hurt you guys? I don't know, like, I never kill anyone with it, but get pushed around. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, you probably can't <laughs> kill people, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so I can build here, but that's pretty much the only place I can build. How often is it? Yeah, just, just build wherever you can, like, we just gotta fill this place with houses and buildings now, so. But just getting, uh, just just, a, uh, just as close to the fence as you can. If it's not keeping okay, any close to the fence, it doesn't matter, really. Okay, I could probably find a better place. Yeah, you have 60 seconds after you cr so-called craft it before it disappears into the tool, uh, tool, uh, the crafting bench, rather. <laughs> whoa! Oh, whoa, sorry. Help me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! It's okay, you're gonna be fine. Alright, <laughs> this looks totally flat, man. Half these boys look so flat. Yeah. This is unfair, man. Yeah, you were thinking of actually building on a hill first, but we would kind of regret that, wouldn't we? Because we wouldn't be able to, we would maybe be able to place, like, one house, <laughs> and that would be it. I think you have to... Far away from the work. Yeah, just like you take your time. Like we, we're not really, we're not really waiting for anything to happen. Okay. Except for you just building something. I think I'm just gonna build it here. All right, that looks, looks, looks good. Close enough to the wall. It's, it's looks super, super duper. Yeah, we don't want to go a lot of houses. Assuming you can even fit anyone in here. Um, that look good. There you go. So you've constructed a lob cabin foundation. So let's see how this works then. So upgrade structure and it's kind of like a similar menu. And yeah, we don't need too much at all. We just need the five boxes of nails and I think that's the only thing which is like slightly hard. So let's go ahead and uh, put that stuff in too. They're all in. Which it may, might have to... Wait, do we need solar planks for this? Ah, uh, one second. Because I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I built my house. Um, wo 20 wooden logs, 5 scrap metal and 5 boxes of nails. How much scrap do we have in there right now? Um, four. Well, how do you access the gear of the, of the thing, Bob? Uh, no, no, you just put it in the, the workbench, and you just upgrade. You just and then you just go over here and then oh, press okay. upgrade. Pretty simple. It's much yeah. better. It's much, much better. Okay, so I've got enough box of nails, but we need the scrap metal and zip by magic. Let's see. It's annoying that demolished structures at the top. But let's go ahead. And, oh God, look at that. These two guys. Look at this, it's beautiful. It is. We can, we can still demolish it, so that's not good. Yeah. Well, this, and then again, it's the same as in breaking a wall. There's just a chance of demolishing it, so we should be good. Uh, yeah. But home, I, I don't buy sniper metal. Oh, never mind, that was not towards us. Uh, we have two nails left. Ten, like. ten boxes of nails. Two, yeah, I guess that's not happening today, is it? Uh, well, me like <laughs> you can uh, in one day, pretty much. Me and Rambo, we upgrade all these walls, and for one wall, you need like one or two nails. So we kind of kept on going for some. Really? Wow, yes. that's a lot of nails, man. Okay, yeah. well, my house is doing pretty good anyway. I I'm liking it. Oh, but it's starting to look good. I think we need more people working on it, though. I mean, there's not too many people. You're like the master one, well, no, that does all the very hard work, and, and Rambo as well. <laughs> but then there's no one else, just us free. Yeah, like, me and Rambo, we're always, like, building stuff. Like, I enjoy building, I don't mind it, but that's kind of why I kind of, like, turned around from Epoch, because I got sick of people destroying the destroying stuff. Destroying your and beautiful it, creations. Yeah, it's, it took so long, like, building it, just for someone to destroy it, like, with yeah. one explosion. It's it's really sad, and it doesn't really make you want to play any more of it. So, can someone destroy this right now? Uh, they can. There's a chance of it. If they get into the base, through the wall, they can go up there. They actually want to destroy it instead. Like, it's just as breaking through a door. Oh, or my God. Wall. 
but uh, does it give me an alert? Someone's fucking trying to blow up your house, Lewis. Uh, I think it might do because it is in ownership of me. I can no, I can, actually, I, I, I can't demolish it right now. So no one else can demolish it. I think. Well, I got a demolish option outside the thing. M it might be for phase one. I don't know. It oh, just, yeah, like, it, it, I guess it was yeah. just lagging a bit. It was just lagging oh, okay. A bit, Thank God for that. So, oh. fuck you guys who were thinking of blowing up my house. <laughs> I know one, one or two of you guys, dirty buggers.